Welcome back to the SNES library. I am the curator. I'm playing this map as red. Honestly, it wasn't bad. They played a similar strategy to me. They also like have the praying days and they save a lot of money. But instead of the Yormagana, they went for the Dark Dragon, which is easy to kill. And then I kind of overran them from there. But today, map 14, we're going to the Lava Lands. And it looks like a mirror map, so I thought... Ah! Uh, every crystal is pre-taken. There's no... I mean, of course, there were crystal seizing, but... Uh, all the grey crystals are already, uh, like, uh, like, given away. I feel like red has an advantage, though, because the blue cast is, is at the coast. So they have, like, water units that can, like, siege from there. All we play is blue. That's what we do. When in doubt. Raven. Oh, we're up with Gargamon. We're not... I thought this was the Lava Faction. No. Dargon. Ghost. Soul Hunter. Fenrir? Uh. I mean, Fenrir could be good to... Let's, let's get across water. Ditch and Dark Dragon. It's the same. Okay, we don't have praying ladies though. <laughs> That's interesting. So like, every crystal we break will be gone for good. Let's get a ghost so we can get to this red crystal fast. Yeah, I do want a necromancer just to spam units over there. I don't know my ghost, I guess. I want you over on the left. We can do that. Blue Wisp looks kinda weird. Give me a Soul Hunter over here. I'm honestly not too crazy about getting ghosts to break. As long as I can defend, it's fine. Give me one goes over here, though. The right side is very secure because it's like leaning towards me, but the left side is leaning towards him, so I want to go there. We've never had undead versus undead. I mean, kinda on the on the extra maps, but that's where the AI broke their own crystal, so it was kind of stupid. That's why there's no great crystals here, so it's the Hey, I cannot do that. I think you can stop this. But he's here. But he can make it in time. I definitely want a lot of so are pretty good here, I think. It's because they can cross over the water pretty fast. And they do have seven shots, so it's like for the undead faction, ammo is important. Sense to have one of these. 
Especially if you can afford them early. I think it's worth it to save for a lich, is it? They're like, what can he do? He does have a three range attack, that's pretty good, but so does the Sonata. He can heal status, but we don't have status to heal. I'll keep with the Sonata. I'll save money because I have the Wisps for the mass. I've been hoping to see some interesting undead map, and this is it. Even if it's a mirror match, this is interesting to me. Have a refill while you're here. Job done though. The attack first from the twenty percent. That's what it's called. Also, try to break. This probably won't work, but it's also a distraction. You just set this ghost. Four damage to me. Mm. My wisp never did four damage. That's rude. Well, for it's worth it. Distraction was a wild success. It's hard to see my blue wisps on the water, though. He came 
back. Fully distracted. Cross water. Okay, it's gonna take you a while, okay. More wisps in. Defense works. Yeah, they are kind of frail. Okay, I want some ghost over on this side. And another song. As the right side seems to be very busy, which might mean we could sneak some ghosts to the left. Strange. Well, at least you'll die then. Attacking. This is mostly a slug fest, though, I gotta say. can just take the left side all by himself. It's just the power of wisps. Of just dispensable free units, essentially.
I'm just gonna have a little bit of money advantage. It's not much, but it gets the job done. Always take out the Soul Hunter. It presents itself. Since two archers can do it. can't get to the necromancer, but that's our next goal. Is the manse. The necrotic manse. To get some defense here. When you all pile on one guy, leaves your remaining guys wide open. He still makes a ton of money, like that hasn't changed, and it won't change for a while. Get away with that. Keep him so busy that I can sneak in this Christmas. But he's on five, so it's gonna take many turns. I don't want you to stand on the crystal. That will cause problems. I don't want you to be focused. Oof, that castle. You can easily replace that uh, necromancer, of course. Because of the money he makes. like a dark dragon but I really need to keep the pressure up because he needs to make less money no damage nice They're defending Fine, I can shoot over you. You shoot my dispensable unit, that's wonderful. I'm glad you, you don't see what's important. Oh hi, you saw me. You saw what's important. Ah, 
Ha, second Necromancer already. I mean, if the Necromancer doesn't leave the Summer Sword, that would be fine, honestly. I can live with him just standing there. Summoning nonsense I don't care about. Him because he just left the castle. That works for me. It's spread out so we haven't fully surrounded. If you killed yourself, you want to go away soon anyway. Wait, no. We want the expensive guy to die. That commence is easily replaced. This guy is not. I make you angry. I'm gonna send you back, get refilled and healed a bit. Just healing probably wouldn't have done that, but the refill as well. It just worked out. I've always loved the Sonda, but like, the, clearly, this is the first time their frailty doesn't come into play that harshly. They actually get to achieve something. I wish I could have one of these crystals to like, refill, because the way back is substantial. Whisk battle? That's new. I won somehow. I mean... Does it really matter though? Like these wisps, I don't care if I do a, like rough damage to them. They aren't here to kill me, they're here to just waste my... Like a tiny bit of health, like if they do one damage, it's already good. Oh my god, they just... That has surrounding potential. I mean, what if that guy doesn't leave the crystal? The castle. Just like his friends don't leave the castle. I don't know so much damage, but if we had focused him down more, I could have put this guy on the castle. And now he's out of ammo. A lot of them are gonna be out of ammo. Oh crap! Gotta retreat a bit. 
We have an ammo emergency. And then the necromancers, they do a substantial amount of damage too, like we can't ignore them. The necromancers can't tank them. money to repair. Probably not much, but hey, it's something. Oh, you could have... Wait, he's on 10? I looked at him on 2 and I thought this was this guy. Never mind then. Never mind. I... Fucked up in a brand new way. Yeah, that's more like it. They two damage. Because the way I surround him, Castle Boy will leave because he can't summon anything. What if one of the wisps will stand on the castle though? That's what he has to do to it, to attack someone. He didn't attack me though. I mean, he doesn't have to. He's protected. I need to heal the wisp, it's very important. I'm out of ammo. It's already happening. He did. He did the, the unthinkable. I don't have a unit that can tank this. He will get 50% defense though, so that's something. This also means that he will spend this turn not buying anything. So he will have money. Targeted a lot. Shame I've pulled so many units back. No, you stand on the mountain where you get some defense. You get all the defense, right? You're not floating. You don't like you're floating, but you're not. Is 
is fine. We don't need you at full strength. Hey, we can fuse these two together, maybe. Might get attacked by because he's out of ammo, but then that's also fine. Only have so many slots left anyway. I'm so glad we get to use Soul Hunters this much, finally. I love this unit. I always felt like they didn't get the job done. He's very confused. I've never seen him cancel the command menu before. Like, he thought on this, he was like, what do I do? Move, attack, move, attack. But he never thought so long, he was like, I don't know what to do. Let's try something else. That's new! What happened there? Like, and I wasn't supposed to think in a way that he would like go through the menus like this or this or this or this. But first he was like going through his options and came to the conclusion that none of his options were good or something. That's wild. There's so many wisps here though now, jeez. It's Soul Hunters versus Wisps. Which, yes, the Wisps do good damage against you, because Soul Hunters don't have defense. But this is ludicrous. I should probably get some birds, just to have some mass for, like, his free units, essentially. Plus, birds will help me save towards, uh... The Dark Dragon. Also, this will help, of course. But, uh, you can take this one. you go further down. He is the only one who can attack, but not anymore. These two crystals are guaranteed broken. One necromancer down here. Ooh, I can reach a crystal in a way that makes sense. While also hitting someone, I, except for this guy, I don't care about this guy. I don't want to waste my my shot though. Not use it. Should be both necromancers down. He can replace them rather easily. But at least sometime. At 
lessens the load of wisps here. Small fry. Yes, use the wisps, that's very, very important. This won't do much. No damage, yeah. Nice. I think Mr. Castle Lich won't leave the castle, though. He'll go defense mode. No, he won't! I was saying. Oh no, this is nice. Hmm, those are easy targets. Do I have enough people to capitalize on that? First, his economy must collapse just a bit. Just a tad, just a smidge. attack him, and you should once it's fine to do so. Let's yeah, have the ranged units go first, of course. If the wisp survives, I'm good. Castle defense really helps him. Only one. Wow. So I don't think you're worth it. You go after him. You're still here, though. You can do two damage, and that's worth it. Just to help block your friend off. I think we're gonna get away with another ghost here. Let me get that crystal there now that we've pushed the bag a bit. His numbers are thinning. You go there, that's fine. And you attack a wisp, that's even more fine. The throwaway units make you so angry for some reason. Angry. 
so angry. Oh, wow. That's our opportunity. Ah, gets to live. I don't want him to live. At least get repair cost then. to save money now. Maybe next turn is Arc Dragon? I don't think I'll have repair costs. I like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> he has three units left. <laughs> he can still like, afford good things, of course. But he will probably build mass of a class at this point. Like, oh, okay. I mean, in a way, the necromancer is mass. Let's not pretend like he's not. Thank you. 
pecked at the ghost. Who cares if it's not corporeal? Gonna have to be refilled. Starts around him a bit. Wisp. Woo. He didn't die. Damn it. He should have died, let's be honest. It's a mage on one. Okay, we have them fully surrounded. Unless my wisp dies. That's always possible. Unless his time ran out. I can attack him. He won't die. I'm able to fuse units though. Oh, he kills himself? No, he's a castle bird. No, he dies. Oh, God damn it! But this is still good. Maybe the ghost moves onto the stomach circle? No, he has Hodei Protocol active. Just a bird though. Man, I'm glad he's not smart. And now the wisp died. It was mine though. Not sure why I was happy about that. This bird needs to go. But with the range I have on my weapons, like this castle siege is gonna be very simple. I don't know, I don't have to micromanage my walking too much. Weaken the bird first before we send the, the other archers of close range combat. You're out. You can stand here, it's fine. Bird! And that's it. In fact, this actually is it. This was nice. Undead versus undead. All crystals pre-distributed. It's very straightforward. I liked it. Every crystal you break is gone forever. <laughs> Man, we are the only skeletons around here now. 
Cool. My next time! The first map that has lava on it? What does it mean? Who, who knows? Who knows? Until then!